here on this Saturday edition. All right, let's go to the Sun Belt Conference tournament unfolding. And James Madison has been a tremendous story in the Sun Belt uh, so far this season. Obviously, the early season opening win against Michigan State. They are laying 12, neutral floor, Pensacola, Florida. Uh, in this matchup with Marshall, total is 153 in this matchup. Jeff Nadu, we are back to you. Yet another official play. Perk up, Peeps. Jeff is on a play. I thought you hated this conference, and yet <laughs> you're looking at the Sun Belt yeah. on a neutral floor. What's up? Yeah, I bet this one last night at 10 and a half, and I thought to myself, you know, I don't think I played a Sun Belt game all year. Um, but I really like this spot for James Madison here. Um, numbers been bet up to 12. I still think it's a little too low. You look at JMU, beat Marshall this year by 26 and by 15. They ran rough shot in both games. Since September or since February 1st, um, essentially before they that they had lost to App State, since then they've been on a mission. Uh, they're winning games on average by about 15 points a game. They've just been mulling this conference, and they seem like a team with a real chip on their shoulder. Uh, yet to figure they'll probably face App State again at some point here. Uh, but they got to get through Marshall first. Marshall won uh, the other day against Georgia State. It was a weird win for them. Um, they made 14 of their 29 threes, which for this group is crazy. I mean, they shoot about 31% on the season. It was one of those outlier games. This game is reminiscent to me of yesterday's game with High Point and Radford. I think it was a team that really just didn't belong there in, the, in their second game. They faced a really good team and got blown out. I think Marshall gets up for this one. You also, I don't think, play a p place, uh, pace, Marshall, that's conducive to JAMU. I think is going to have a bunch of possessions in this game. They're very efficient. I think they win like 85-66. I'm going to lay the number here with JAMU, a team that I think is on a mission. All right, Terrence Edwards Jr. leads them in scoring at 18 a game. Neutral floor. We've, we've gone over this, Matt Cox, a couple of times about teams that have played a game already on the neutral floor, which Marshall has, against a team that's been waiting, like James Madison has been waiting. Uh, and this one is the last game of the four games. This is tonight for the two seed on the last game on the floor, James Madison, the two seed. Thoughts on Marshall and JMU? Well, yeah, the good thing here is that they've had an extra day off, right? A lot of these tournaments that go playing around back-to-back -back next day against that top-seeded tier. This one at least gets the Friday off um, you know, to rest. I think it's a pretty big edge for the dogs, in this case, Marshall for sure. And it's a team that usually has a lot of depth under D'Antoni, but this year they're not as deep. It's just kind of a different type of roster construct. Um, they do have lots of length, and I do. They, they've had trouble matching up with JMU in the regular season. I think JMU's kind of spread out attack has caused fits for this team. But D'Antoni seems to be convinced that they're playing hard and that they're on the verge of breaking through. Uh, saw some signs of that last round in the opener, but obviously James Madison, different beast. I think it's competitive tonight. I, I really do. I do like, feel like JMU the last few weeks has been um, leveling off, uh, per se. I think playing closer to their competition, not beating teams by the margin that we saw earlier in the year. So I kind of like the angle uh, catching a dozen here as the, as the dog with the day off. All right, again, as uh, Jeff alluded to, they played twice in the regular season, and James Madison won by 14 or more in both of the games. you got to lay 12 here. I know the chat is going crazy about James Madison um, and, and their opportunity here. All right, uh, big man says lay it tonight with the Dukes of JMU. He will lay 12 points in the Sun Belt quarterfinal game. Again, championship game will be Monday night in Pensacola. Appalachian State is the top seed. Appalachian State is up on the floor first, uh, coming up in their quarterfinal game with Georgia Southern. That might or might not come up in the live chat, but they're up first at 12.30 Eastern time, 11.30 local time. Panhandle of Florida is uh, largely in the central time zone, so that's an 11 30 local start for Appalachian State. The game we're talking about here is Marshall James Madison, 7.30 p.m. tonight. ESPN Plus has these games in the Sunbelt Conference where it's an, it's an interesting setup for Appalachian State and James Madison and somebody uh, else that may get in the mix for the automatic bid. 